Pros and cons of tattoo aftercare ointments by a tattoo artist coming up. Welcome back, guys. Uh, for those of you who are catching up with us and jo just joining us, my name is Wesley. Um, I'm a tattoo artist at Skin Kitchen Tattoo in Des Moines, Iowa. I've been tattooing since 2006. And um, yeah, so I'm going to give you some, just as uh, if you come to our channel, you're obviously looking for some information about tattoos and tattoo after care and, um, and how to go about some of the things in our industry. And today I'm going to cover a couple of products. Um, tattoo aftercare ointments is a question that we get a lot nowadays. Is What kind of tattoo ointments are great for taking care of your tattoos afterward? Um, so some pros and cons of some things. Um, one thing, some of the things we try to stay away from are, and contrary to popular belief, I think, is Neosporin and triple antibiotics. Um, they're kind of, they, they're all right for healing wounds and heavy, ta and heavy, um, cuts and scratches and things like that. But, um, in the end, what we're doing is a very minor scratch and it's such a powerful healing ointment with the, the vitamins in it that it actually over time can slowly pull out some of the pigments and ink inside your tattoo. So um, it's not a huge risk or anything like that. It's nothing that's gonna damage your health or even really damage your tattoos per se. Um, but yeah, in such a way that as it's healing up, it will kind of push out some of those inks sometimes. There has been experiences in the past with it. That's not to say it's gonna happen with everybody, but Neosporin, Troy Antibiotics, those are things we try to stay away from just because it's too strong. Um, so yeah, that would be one you don't you don't necessarily want to use unless you absolutely really have to. Anything's probably better than nothing. The other one we really try to stay away from is petroleum jelly or Vaseline, things like that. It's a good protective barrier um, from some of the th things in the air and such, but realistically, it doesn't have a whole lot of vitamins in it that's made for healing. Um, good things we really do look for are gonna be vitamin E. That's good for your skin for healing up. So vitamin E lotions, vitamin E ointments, um, shea balm is a very popular thing. Uh, there's very there's a handful of things, Aquaphor and um, and the ointments fairly used, though I would say most artists are trying to steer clear of that nowadays. It's a very thick ointment itself. You don't want to use really heavy, thick ointments too often. Maybe in the first few days as it's healing up, but once you start seeing scabs, you want something a little bit lighter, like a lotion. Um, reason being those heavier ointments can, in those first few days, be good for healing up your tattoos, but because it's such a thick ointment, it can clog up those pores and in a sense sort of suffocate your tattoo which in turn can actually create more scabbing or aid in the scabbing itself so in those first few days it's all right usually as most experienced tattoo owners will agree with that it, your tattoo won't start scabbing up until two maybe three days after if it does at all these days it's not so much but if it does at all it's going to be a few days after and so those first few days a thicker ointment's not too worrisome but as it progresses later on most artists say within by the end of the first week you should be using a lubrum lotion or jergens or some sort of white unscented lotion another reason another thing we say is unscented you might have caught me saying that unscented and undyed colorless and perfume free if you can find it which is fairly easy to find but um, the reason being also for those is that those perfumes and those pigments from those people can have allergic reactions with it being in the actual skin when your tattoo is healing up. So the less chemical that we can have inside the skin, the better for you. It's not a necessary thing for your, um, your tattoo to heal to have that fragrance. So skip that, pick the nicer lotion that's better for your skin and for your tattoo to heal up and not going to give you that risk of an allergic reaction of any kind. Um, so yeah, uh, we've covered petroleum-based products and some of the ones that don't have vitamins in, in it, like petroleum jelly and Vaseline and some of those really strong ointments like Neosporin and triple antibiotics. And then the things in the middle, like I said, vitamin E lotions are really good things which you want to look for. Um, you see a lot of coconut oil and various healing oils being used nowadays. 
This one's probably still a little bit more up for debate, but I generally try to say steer clear of the oils because they saturate your skin throughout the day. And while that's a good thing throughout most of your body, if you like to rub that on, uh, for your tattoo, not so much. We kind of like to see a little bit of you washing it two or three times throughout the day. And so a lotion's got a little bit more of a rotation through it. You put a little bit on throughout the day, it'll dry out a little bit, you go wash your tattoo and you re-moisturize it. Whereas an oil might saturate it and just kind of stay there all day while you try to wash it out. And that might not be as good for it. Uh, but again, this is up for debate still and worth your own tries, but I generally try to say steer clear of it. So um, I hope you guys found this informative. If you like this video, go ahead and give us a thumbs up. Please subscribe to our channel. We have a lot of other very informative videos and we hope to see you guys next time. Thanks.